Hey YouTube, this is iTouch iPod Helper, and today I'm going to show you how to control your computer with your iPod Touch. So what you want to do is you want to go into Install Us, and if you don't have Install Us, the a video link will be in my description to show you how to get Install Us. So what you want to do is you want to go into Install Us. Okay, and go to Search and just type in VNC and then just let it load okay and go to the second one is called Matcha VNC I'm not quite sure if you can see that but it's a green icon with a computer saying VNC and just called Matcha VNC so you tap on that and you go down to the bottom way down to the bottom and it'll say download as you can see in the blue writing and it will say version 2.1 I'm not sure if you can see that but you tap on 2.1 okay and you go to the first iPod friendly link called getapp.info or whatever you want to use okay now and then it's just asking me to wait a couple of seconds until it verifies my download and then you tap on the wee box here saying 8 minus 3 and you just you just you just have to do the math so when you enter your answer in you just go to download so I'm not going to do this because I already done it so I'll just go out of this and when you've, been out, when you've downloaded VNC it will save VNC and it should come up like this and what you want to do is you want to go to menu edit connections and you enter your IP address and if you want to get your IP address I'll show you how to do this now just on my computer so okay now I'll show you now not quite sure if you can see that guys but on the computer you go into search now I'm using Windows Vita so if you're using XP just go into search is the same thing and you type in search CMD and when you're on CMD you can see a black screen there type in IP config now all these steps will be in my video description so if you're not quite sure you can recheck them so you type in IP config and you press enter and it will say your IP address mine says IPv4 address and you I'm not zooming in because I don't want you guys to see my IP address for obvious reasons so it will say your IP address and when you've got your IP address you want to download an application called TypeVNC and you go into Google and type in type VNC and as I said again um, all the steps will be in my video description so you t type in type VNC and you go to the the third one here called sourceforce.net and then type VNC and you click on it Okay, sorry, it says this web page is offline, so they're doing maintenance. So I'll just go on to a different one here. You go on to the first one and you go to download, and it will just say Windows download. Oh, it's saying this again. Okay guys, I'm sorry this should not be happening because I was on this website about a day or two ago yesterday. So this should not be happening. So I'm just going to find a solution to see if I can get the program for you guys.
Okay, and this is not working, so if you wanna if you wanna go on to this, just go on to the video description. So I'm sorry that this is not working because the site is offline. So when this video should be uploaded, it will be online. So it will say in my video description. And when you've downloaded the latest version of Type VNC, you go to your Windows bar and all programs. Okay. And I'm not quite sure if you can see this, but I'll tell you what to do. You sc scroll down, and it should say Tight VNC. And what you want to do is you want to go to Tight VNC Viewer. No, sorry. You want to go to Tight VNC Server because the the viewer is just it's not as good as the server, so. You go to server, okay, and you go down to your bar down here, and we a little V should be there, and you tap on it, and when you've done that, a window should come up saying type VNC server current user properties, and it will ask you for a password, so, so I'll just tell my password, because it's an easy password. Um, I recommend the password just be called password and you verify the password and when you've done that go to OK OK now and I'll show you my iPod Touch here working with the computer so you go to the iPod Touch and it says VNC server IP address and the port you just leave that you just leave that 5900 Okay, so 590 as you can see, and your VNC password should just be just password, it should be the same as the one you made in your computer, so just password, okay now. And it says Mac OS X server. Make sure if you have Windows XP or Vista, leave that off or it won't work. And you just go to Save Password and leave 32 bit color mode on so it will be better displayed. And keep on mouse with offset. And when you put in your IP address and all, I'm not gonna do this because you'll see my IP address for obvious reasons again. You just go to connect and save so I already have one here I'm just going to go to back and connect okay now guys as you can see here is my computer screen on my iPod touch as my background on my programs look my programs and on my computer the same the same desktop wallpaper and stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my iPod Touch again. Okay. I'm not quite sure if you can see this, but I'm going to go to Start. And I'm going to go to Internet Explorer. Now, I haven't touched my computer here. So, on my computer, you're going to see the YouTube web page which is my home page and and on your iPod touch you are able to control your web page and your computer using your iPod touch on your iPod touch you just control your computer using the same using the same way as you would in your computer so thanks for watching I hope this video helps and remember if you want to hit installs or it's called Haculo whatever you want to call it you can just go on to the link in my video description which will help you get installs and it will lead up to this program so thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and rate five stars so thanks for watching